to move to our uh, next presentation and the last of the day. Uh, we have here uh, Ton, uh, Tanya Galani. Tanya Galani, she's going. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tanya Galani. I am uh, this election, I'm a candidate for parliament in Greece because uh, we're in a political um, uh, concept of life this, uh, this time. So, it's my great honor to participate in your conference and to speak publicly to raise awareness of the issues of protecting... Of pro okay. Okay. It's my great honor to participate in your conference and to speak publicly to raise awareness of the issues of protecting the seas from ship oil spills which are a common occurrence in the Laconian Gulf. This damages the marine ecosystem, which is dying and polluting the environment. Dolphins and other marine species will be wired out. It's a matter of the common sense that chemicals and heavy metals from ship oils contaminate toxic elements to acquire life, most often reducing an organism's lifespan and ability to reproduce and make the way up the food chain as predator eats prey. As for us, our sea neighborhood, our main issue is that we need to harmonize the human activity with the environment and the planet. In that case, we face the Greek tankers reload and mix Russian oil in the Laconian Gulf. Dozens of tankers of the coast of the Peloponnese daily reload and mix Russian oil and LNG. At the same time, the Greek Ministry of Shipping does nothing. Since most of the ships belong to Greek ship owners. These are, talking, these are tankers under various flags, Hong Kong, Liberia, Cayman Islands, etc. That spotted from satellites and which is in the center of the Laconian Gulf between El Afonso's and Teneros, exports oils that is dangerous for our sea the planet, and of course for our protected harbors. In addition, it is dangerous for environmental sensitivity and perspective. With increased tourist activity in El Afonso's, Neapol, Plitra, Archangelos, Githio, and Mani, with clear waters which are celebrated annually by numerous blue flags and significant economic activity, thanks to the wealth of fish catches. The intentions of shipping ministry are unknown in terms of legislation to ensure that there is no accident that destroys Laconia's unique ecological, tourism and social ecosystem. The importance of Brazil law, Tokyo law, and especially Paris law about environmental protection includes, includes Peloponnese too. There is also a special law which called Ramsar about water protection. So we need an extension of law in the political scenery in order to apply it. Let's face it together. Nobody in this country doesn't want to fight the destructive activity of the ship owners. But the credits of ship owners don't give credit to country, the environment, the planet. And especially, don't give credit to our sea the seawater, which is vital element of our planet. The environmental pollution during such operations are very dangerous and destructive. We shall face the pollution of waters and coasts, even if that means we must take, we must make it an international matter among the governments, special governments of the European Union, government of Greece, and ship owners. Human beings must stop fighting other human beings through activities of greed and selfishness. In addition, we must stop destroying that beautiful, vital, and resourceful planet. My purpose is to spread the message about the destructive impact of some human activities upon the environment. It also my hope that more people around the world become aware about the protection of the planet and that the decision makers of that world get the message serious so that they can take crucial protection measures. 
With numerous of proposals through social media post demonstrations, cultural events, and the creation of a dominant atmosphere that wants justice in the management of our clear water maintenance. It is not a matter of Greece, even if it happens in Greece. It is an international matter, and we should face it such an issue. Thank you very much. Thank you.